We're a small community, probably about three to 5,000 people total. And the more time goes on, the more that we get assimilated and we lose our identity and our culture. And time is very important that we uh, have this project fulfilled to bring back um, the identity. We're losing it. Eventually, we'll just be a face with no identity behind it. My name is Naren Badashov, and my project is to create a community center that will incorporate uh, our Mongolian history, uh, Mongolian culture, uh, Mongolian heritage, language, culinary, uh, and traditions. <laughs> About 250 years ago, the Mongolians migrated to what's now called Russia, southern Russia, uh, right above the Caucasus Mountains. And this one area where we stayed, uh, we've been ever since. Late 51, early 52, we immigrated here to Howell, New Jersey, and we built our first Buddhist temple in America, first Tibetan Buddhist temple in America. Um, 1967, I was born, first generation Kamluk American, so I spoke only Mongolian for the first seven years. I believe uh, when I went to kindergarten or first grade, um, majority of uh, the language I would speak was Mongolian to all my friends and nobody knew what I was speaking about. That was the start of my incarnation uh, of my Mongolian culture, language, tradition, and dedication of wanting to keep uh, and make aware of who we are, where we came from, our history and our culture and our language. The challenge of myself and under our community is like the same challenge that any community has in America, especially a small community like us. Assimilation is a very big um, factor in losing your identity, losing your culture here in America. Because everybody wants to be American, everybody wants to have a, uh, a great career, and that career uh, is determined about how American you are, how well you speak English. The challenge is to keep our culture alive. The challenge is to keep our traditions alive, our language, our song and dance, our foods. And I think with everybody's help, we can make that happen. Ich bin ein